today we're going to talk all about why you should not RV full time. That sounds like a weird topic. Yeah. Because we do full time and yeah. so we're not telling you to not RV full time. We're just saying if some of these things apply to you, you might want to rethink your plans yes. to RV full time. So we'll get right into it. The first one is if you are very attached to family and friends, if all your family and friends are in one location and you're very attached, tight knit, you get together and have lunch yeah. every Sunday, you go to the same church, you go to the same places, you go, you know, if you're a regular at the same restaurant, if you're in that group, you need to see them daily. Yeah. In some fashion. If you're gonna <laughs> miss that too much, it's not. Yeah, you. you might want to rethink RV full-time maybe be a weekender or a some timer yeah not a full-timer yeah seasonal maybe because I would say you'll probably get out on the road for a few months and go oh, I want to go home yeah. and then you got all this money invested or you have sold your home already and then going home is not an option it's, yeah and then you just won't have fun yeah. so it won't be any fun what's the next thing uh, that if you cannot agree to full-time yeah, we have seen people who, who one's all in and one yeah one toe in, and it, and it seems kind of <laughs> like one was strong armed yeah. into the full time RV life, yeah, and then so there's a, maybe some resentment, mm -hmm. or one person's having fun, at, and another one's not, and yeah. then eventually neither one are having fun, fun because one is having so little fun <laughs> they're, dra they're, they're dragging the other person's fun <laughs> they're being what i like to call a fun vampire <laughs> and just sucking the fun out of everything he's called me a fun vampire before so <laughs> i have so you know <laughs> so if you can't agree i mean i think you really have to both be on board we were both on board yeah we were both all in yeah and even some even though we were all in on some days we've been like oh, i think we messed up <laughs> I don't know that we said we stop. Because you just have bad days where you're like, we wouldn't have these problems if we were in a house. Yeah. And lived in the community and didn't have to move. We wouldn't, but you have problems yeah. in but a house. You just remind problems. yourself of the problems you would be having yeah. if you were in your house and still yeah. working every day. And so then, then you feel better. If you're living in a house, you have those days where you're like, if I was full time, I wouldn't have these problems. Yeah. And there's times when you're full time and you're like, if I was in a house, we wouldn't have these problems. So, so yeah. yeah. It balances. But you really got to be all in, especially to, to get through those days. Because if you're not all in, then that person who doesn't want to be all in, they're going to remind you. We yeah. wouldn't have these problems if we were right <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. And then it's not going to be fun, no. man. Okay. That's where the fun vampire comes. Yeah. So <laughs> moving along to the next reason yeah. why you should not RV full time. If you are a terrible driver, you should not. Hey, what? What? <laughs> I'm not a terrible driver. Look. I know you many, don't think you are. How many times have I killed you? Well, you almost killed me <laughs> once. We've shared that story, so you can't even deny that. I ain't killed her not once yet. <laughs> you tried really well, hard. Well, here's the deal. You're going to go through yeah. tight turns. It doesn't matter what kind of RV you're in. You're going to find yourself in a situation where it's difficult to get in or out, or you're going to go through <laughs> construction or you're gonna have a blowout on your tire and you just really gotta be at least a decent driver. I, I'm, I will self-admit that I am not great at backing up. <laughs> I, we know this, we, we, yeah, saw, uh, we saw- But we knew it before yeah. we even had I to mean, try. We uh, just knew. Uh, that's cool. <laughs> and we, we are already planning on going to more places where we have to back in. So we, we'll probably get, get better, better at it. it. But, yeah. I will tell you that the reason why I'm not, not a bad driver, I am a defensive driver, and the reason why is you're an over defensive driver. That's not my fault. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, I, I I'm not going to go into detail, yeah. but I was hit in Iraq by a suicide bomber. He drove a car into our vehicle and it exploded. Yeah. So I'm a little freaked out when people get close to me when I'm driving now, but it's not a voluntary reaction. It's involuntary, and it's gotten a lot better. I'll say that. It is better. It's, yeah. But it's still a little... I still ain't killed nobody. It's still a little scary. <laughs> Sometimes. Alright, what's next? Uh, if you love lots of stuff. 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 If you have to have a lot of stuff, 
If you can't look around your house and imagine not taking it with you, then you shouldn't go. <laughs> or even worse, we've seen it in person, people who try to still bring it still all with them. Still bring it, yeah. Determined to make it fit. <laughs> <laughs> You'll see the the Class A hauling the the trailer. The enclosed trailer. And then the wife driving, driving a truck a tra behind it, pulling another, another trailer. Tra <laughs> <laughs> They're bringing it all. They're bringing it all. They got a car in one trailer. It amazes me it's, that people are willing to purchase those things yeah. just to bring their things with them. Uh, that, that, that's it's love. Crazy. That's really love of your stuff. If you want to go through that, then <laughs> that then this this particular topic is not an option, uh, not an issue for you yeah, because yeah. you could just bring all your stuff. But it just looks like a pain in the butt to bring all that stuff. Well, yeah, and it's hard in an RV park because if they only let you, your space is so big and let you park only so many vehicles, mm -hmm. well now you're going to have to leave your stuff in the visitor side of parking and, and just yeah. walk over there every time you want something from it. Yeah, and usually the ones we've seen like that, they're all in, man. They got, like I said, the double yeah. trailers, they got the kayaks on top, mm -hmm. they got the bikes on the back okay. of the thing. They, they really just, they brought they everything. Brought. They didn't downsize, they just packed all their stuff they, yeah, they got rid of the house, but and they drag the all their that was in it. <laughs> they drag all their stuff around the country. <laughs> yeah, okay. It's crazy. Yeah. You shouldn't need that much stuff. No, I don't think you need that much stuff. And so we're down to just whatever we have in the RV, and we have an eight by ten storage unit that is on a, in a fixed location. Mm -hmm. That you know, for stuff that we didn't want to throw away, but didn't want to bring with us too. So, and we know people that have way even less than that. So I'd say that downsize as much as you possibly can. Yeah. But um, we'll move on to the next reason. The next reason is if you want to save money. There are ways that you can save money if you RV full time. Because um, we know people that do it. We know people that do boondocking a lot, mm -hmm. dry camping a lot. Yeah. Um, people that work camp. That gate guard. Yeah. Uh, there's a bunch of ways that you can save money, but if you're looking to just go out onto the road and maintain the lifestyle that you had, like we like to eat out a lot, we yeah. like to travel, we like to explore different places, we have to pay for uh, admissions, fees, so yeah. all that stuff. Mm -hmm. We don't save any money. <laughs> we really no. don't. No. We really don't save money, and then the money we make on on YouTube and other social media, we give some of that away to veterans, and then the rest of that goes toward maintaining the channel. We're still partially uh, responsible for our child, so we're totally not saving money. You give me she doesn't on. save us money at all. <laughs> yeah, so for uh, you, so we're not saying that you can't, but if no, you, you can be thrifty. Yeah. And, and smart on how you use your money. Yeah, but I would say if, if but I whole, wouldn't call it a money-saving option is to live in an RV. No, I would say if your whole purpose is to save money, it's yeah. not probably going to happen. What's the next one? <laughs> it's not our problem. No, no, it's not. As you can clearly see. <laughs> no, it's not our problem. No, it's not. If you can't get along with each other. Yeah, and some of you are finding out right now. Yeah. They're in this whole situation. CV-19 has tested <laughs> a lot of people, I'm sure, as to whether they could yeah. live in a small space I'm with sure their significant other. I'm sure that there are some out there who <laughs> were planning to be full-time RVers and have now gone through this process with the virus and, and are now like, Coming nope, up with a new plan. <laughs> we're not doing it because I can't be around you that yeah. long, that much time. We worked together for several years yes. in the same departments, the same clinics, the same hospitals. So we, we yeah, went to work together, four, worked together all day. We worked together. Came home together. So we are used to being mm -hmm. around each other yeah. a lot. And so really transitioning from, from our lifestyle to, to the RV is really not any different. We still spend all day together. And our, our, our extracurricular activities were s same as well because we both like to fish. I didn't hunt yeah. so I never went hunting with you but we both like fish and we both rode our own motorcycles mm -hmm. and hung out with that group of people so our our likes were similar outside of professional. Yeah so we just spent a lot of all time. Of time together and so mm -hmm. it not that you have to do that. No. There are ways when you full-time RV that you can have your own space. Yes. As long as you're not going through current situation. So, yeah. Um, you could go, you know, have lunch by yourself, or if you have, uh, you know, outdoor space, 
with like some entertainment. You can go outside and read a book, whatever. Mm -hmm. You can create that separation and create your own personal space and time, which we still do from time to time. But yeah. um, but really, you're going to spend 90% of your time together. So if you can't yeah. get along, you might want to rethink the yeah. full-time RV life. Um, the next one we're going to talk about, which we've experienced more recently than we have ever. Yeah. Is if you are scared of storms, pass on the RV life because <laughs> storms are even just a regular storm that is not yeah. really scary in a in a house is amplified in an RV. Yeah, uh, the wind rocks you more. It's louder. The yeah, the, the just, louder just the sound. Just of because rain. the walls are, are thinner, the, yeah. the ceiling's thinner, so you hear the raindrops sound a lot bigger. Anything thunder, lightning sounds yeah. a lot louder, a lot closer than it you know than it did when you were in a house yeah because you don't have the well insulated walls yeah. and windows and stuff and so and i'll say that too if you have kids that are if you're full-time with kids yeah. and they're scared of storms it's going to be even worse Work. on the road <laughs> if you have pets who are scared it's going to be even worse Work, yeah. on the road um some vets don't do well with with, with storms and loud noises mm -hmm. so if if that's you um I mean that's a, that's something you really should take into consideration. Mm -hmm. And then when the storms get really bad, when you get like watches and warnings for tornadoes and stuff, you yeah. have to have a plan. So you've you saw in our one of our recent videos about tornadoes. If it's going to be in the middle of the night, you have to have a plan to to mm -hmm. to get out and go to a structure somewhere. Because during the day you can kind of track it, and you probably don't need to go to a hotel or or someone's house or a shelter. But if it's going to be in the middle of the night. You really have to have a plan, and the plan cannot be to stay in your RV. It's yeah. just not safe. There's no safe place in an RV. No. Yeah. We already talked about that. Um, okay, cool. What's next? If you're already living paycheck to paycheck. Yeah, if you are you crunched. You probably shouldn't do this. If you're crunched for money, do not do it. Yeah. Don't risk it. Um, there is already risk. Even if you have money and you have savings and you have a plan and you have reliable income, it's yeah. still risky. It is risky. It is still risky, and you have to take the, the risk if you want to live this lifestyle. Mm -hmm. But if you are danger close on paying your bills, or if you have debt and you are living paycheck to paycheck, you are one incident away from not having a plan. Yeah. If something happens to your rig, uh, yeah. something happens to your tow vehicle, something happens to your health. Yeah. Um, I mean, we just replaced. Uh, tires in the truck is 1300 bucks mm -hmm. um, if your warranty is not uh, still valid on your RV you have to pay for any kind of repairs that you have that RV has to go into a shop you have to stay at a hotel there's just so mm -hmm. many things that could take you off the road and it doesn't take much because it's all expensive <laughs> yeah and so you have to have a plan you have to have some kind of a savings you have to have some kind of a backup or you have to have some kind of a, a family member the t to say hey if i if if it ain't gonna work can i come hang out with you until i get it figured out and get back out yeah but I'd say if you're close it's just gonna it's just gonna add stress to your lifestyle yeah. you're not gonna enjoy it you're not gonna be able to go out and, and enjoy and explore everything that you want to explore if being more financially stable requires you to not hit the road for a couple more months or a couple more years yeah then you, so be it you should wait <laughs> Because it, it'll be worth it. And I and I know the feeling. We know the feeling mm -hmm. of wanting to get out there, and yes. just like y you want to go now. Mm -hmm. And I get it. But if you if you have to build up or get rid of some debt or get a cushion, a nest egg, mm -hmm. you should have that. You you can't you can't risk it, especially if you have kids or a family that you take yeah. down the road with you. It affects everybody. Don't risk it. It's not worth it. Um, and some people will tell you, hey. Go for it. Do it. Whatever do it makes you happy. happy. Do it now as quick yeah. as you can. However you can do it. Uh, that's just, in my opinion, not good advice. Yeah. So, be smart about it. Um, the RV lifestyle is great, but it it won't be fun if you don't do it right. Yeah, it comes with its own set of issues. Yeah. So you just have to be mentally prepared for that. Yeah. The last tip is, and this wasn't on the list eventually, or with the, this wasn't on the list initially. Yeah. It's on the list now. <laughs> Another reason why you might want to rethink uh, living in an RV full time and traveling is natural disasters. A national natural, natural disasters <laughs> like we are going through right now. Yeah. No one saw this coming. No, you couldn't predict that. No one saw this coming, but 
uh, and we didn't have a plan for it. We we were planning on being up in Niagara Falls for the summer. Yeah. And um, we and we don't have a structure to go back to and just wait it out no. there. We don't even have like a, a place to park an RV for an extended period. We had to find a place. We had to rely on an RV park. Yeah. On to RV be open business, yeah. and let us in and let us stay. Um, so, I mean, it could have been a lot worse. Yeah. Um, and it's got a l we've been talking with other people in the RV community mm -hmm. the, and everybody's kind of thinking about, well, maybe I should have another plan. So maybe I should keep a small house or maybe I should buy a tiny home on a piece of land somewhere, or maybe I should buy an RV Slot. space yeah. or, or a lot because a lot of these resorts will sell you a spot yes. with like a little spot, a gazebo, a shed. Just some place that's yours, that you own, that you can go back to. And when you're Whenever not there, you, yeah. you can rent it out. But at least when something like this happens with the virus, you got a place to go. Yeah. No one can say you can't come here because you own it. So we didn't have that, and that's a little scary. So it's got us thinking. It has put us in thinking mode. Yeah. Um, we haven't will. really landed on anything. <laughs> no. But, <laughs> but it's we're... got the wheels spinning in it our head. It definitely has. What, what we might want to remedy this potential situation again and I think I think it's a good thing to to have to think about now yeah because we didn't think about you it don't we were wait just, till it happens again we were just kind of like man we just go with the flow and go travel and not a care in the world and and so now we're like oh back to a little bit of reality mm -hmm. that bad things can happen and we might need that even though all these other things didn't apply to us um, yeah this one kind of applies to everybody. Yeah. No matter what your situation, you should have some kind of a plan. Mm-hmm. We don't. We don't. We will. <laughs> but it's going to make us make We're a plan. We're coming up with a plan. Yeah. If you're thinking about going full-time, we hope that this uh, was informative. We hope it helped you make a an informed decision whether to actually do it or not. And if you do, I hope that you are successful. We hope that you have many great travels and we hope that we run into you sometime on the road yeah. so we can swap our crazy stories. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like we do at the end of all of our videos, we're gonna honor a fallen hero. We appreciate you watching and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.